This is lesson 5, Integration of Trigonometric Functions. And we are to evaluate the integral cosine x minus sine x all over sine squared x dx. Now in this given, it's quite obvious that we cannot perform integration by substitution directly because we cannot eliminate either the denominator or the numerator by doing so. So what we are going to do here because we have two terms in the numerator and a single term in the denominator. So what we can do here is to separate the integrand into two fractions. That would give us cosine x over sine squared x dx minus sine x over sine squared x dx. Then we rewrite, we express the first one, the first fraction, into a product of two fractions, cosine x over sine x times 1 over sine x dx minus, we can simplify the second fraction into 1 over sine x dx. If an integrand involves trigonometric functions, you always recall your identities. So recall that cosine x over sine x is equal to cotangent x and that 1 over sine x is equal to cosecant x. Therefore, we can rewrite our integrand as a product of cotangent x cosecant x dx minus cosecant x dx. And so we have integration formulas for this, the integral of cotangent x cosecant x dx is negative cosecant x and then the integral of cosecant x dx is the ln of cosecant x minus cotangent x and then plus c.